For centuries, Hindus in India have turned to the goddesses of contagion, known collectively as Amman or the Divine Mother for help. During the current pandemic, these goddesses are being called on yet again. As a cultural anthropologist who studies religion, I have seen small shrines dedicated to these goddesses all over India. These contagion goddesses act as celestial epidemiologists. They protect against sickness and cure the ill, but if angered, they can also inflict disease. The first contagion goddess is a demon turned goddess, Hariti, who was worshipped during the Justinian plague of Rome in 542 AD. It travelled to India via trade routes and killed between 25 to 100 million people. 19th century British colonial documents record waves of illness and death that struck my hometown of Bangalore and the desperate pleas to a contagion goddess known as Plague Amma. In South India, the premier contagion goddess is the scimitar wielding Mariamman, who slays the demons of virulence and illness. In the north, she is called Sheetala or the cold one. But with advances in modern medicine, traditional epidemics have died down. As a result, healing rituals have become less relevant. But yet the goddesses live on. A new goddess of contagion named Aidsamma was created in 1997 by a science teacher in a village outside Bangalore. Worshippers at her temple were schooled in prophylactic measures to prevent AIDS. A Mariam and shrine near a traffic roundabout in Bangalore was transformed into a guardian against road accidents. In recent days, as India has eased the lockdown, the number of COVID-19 cases is rising. With no known cure, no viable vaccine and failing social distancing measures, we may need the goddess of contagion now more than ever before.